Hi everyone, I'm Katrina Many, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through this week's Workout Wednesday Sigma solution. So let's hop into it. All right, so I've got our challenge pulled up over here on the left so we can remember the requirements and what we're trying to recreate. And I've opened up a new workbook, nothing in it, so that we can go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is add a data element. Um, I can see from this list that we're going to be looking at the plugs electronic one. So I'm going to click on table. I'm going to select table and data set as my data source. Uh, going to connections and uh, the Sigma sample database. There's lots of cool, fun things in here if you ever want to poke around in it. And I'm going to navigate to this plugs electronic hands-on lab. Get a quick preview of it. I know that this already includes the columns I need. I uh, try to keep this one simple, so just clicking select. Now we have our table element in here. Because we're trying to create an area chart, I'm going to create a child visualization. So we'll click right here. I'm going to change this to area chart. And now when I come over here, I can see that I need to truncate my date by quarter and sum my price. So I'm just going to click and drag these up into the fields that I know they need to be on. Um, I'm going to click this downward facing arrow to change the truncation from my day, which it automatically populated to, to quarter. And then I'm going to click and drag price up here. It automatically defaults to sum, so that's fine. Uh, don't need to change anything. We're looking pretty close to what we needed to do so far. It looks like we just need to change some formatting things. So I'm going to go over to the element format section, click on uh, the paintbrush, and I'm going to choose the area style. And all I need to do is click the box to check this so I can see my solid line and then check this so I can see my dots. And that's it. I've already known that my color is the, the same. If I needed to change it, it was over here. Um, again, the label for this one is staying the same, keeping everything simple. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I did forget we do need to format this to a currency. So there we go. And now I'm going to move this element to a new tab. So I'm going to click the three dots here and I'm going to choose to move it to a new tab. This one we can label as pretty much anything. So I'm just going to label as as uh, week one. And then we also have a requirement to hide the data tab. So all I need to do is click this down and facing arrow, click hide. That's about it. And we're almost there. We've got our element listed in here. Uh, I can uh, make sure that the sizing meets at the requirement of at least 15 by 15. It does. If I want to make it smaller, I can. And then the last thing to do is add a title text element. So let's pop up back here. It says, can you recreate this area chart? And yes, we can. Um, so I'm going to come back to add a new element. We'll click plus to add a new element. Select the text element. Um, and then I'm just going to click and drag this up here and we'll insert our title. And this is maybe a little bit hard to tell and I probably should have included in the instructions, but I think it is set to a large paragraph, uh, maybe a small header. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look like bold. That's okay. Uh, so there we go. That's all we need to do to recreate this area chart. Now, since this is the first challenge, part of why I chose this challenge was actually because there's two different ways to do this. This is obviously a really simple way to do it, but if you want to do a more advanced way or if you just want to save it uh, for your back pocket, another option that you could do is come to, instead of duplicate, or excuse me, instead of area chart, we're going to duplicate it into a combo chart. We're going to change our sum of price to be an area chart. And then we're also going to duplicate this column, show it again. And now we can see we've got it as a line chart. I'll just keep this as yellow just so you can see the difference here. Again, we're just going to go to the area and line style formatting. Our area chart is already shaded uh, in the way that we want it to be. So I'm going to select this sum of price one, which is our line. And then I'm just going to show show points. And that's it. So there's two different ways that you can create this chart. 
Again, wanted to obviously keep it simple for this first one, but if you want to do something more advanced or keep it in your back pocket just so you know that you can do combo charts, that's another option. Thanks again for tuning into this week's solution video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.